These people are hilarious. It seems now they're in the business of ruining their own perps' lives. The ones who work for them. They're destroying their lives as well as ours. But me, myself, they're actually inadvertently helping me a lot and I find that extremely funny hilarious and yes they get mad that I find their downfall hilarious but the thing is they can't use scripture to say I'm wrong and being prideful you know or love your brother love your enemy because you can't love a demon they have demons That's there's nothing in the bible that said I'm supposed to love a demon they're possessed. I mean, Jesus put the demons inside of a pig and drove them off over the cliff. I can't get them out of you people. I can't do that. And you don't want them out of yourselves. That's what it seems like. Y'all happy with them. So, yes, I can laugh at you being in derision. And that burns them up even more. And because today their street theater was about me being selfish. I went again to my favorite store, the Dollar Tree, to buy my one dollar a piece snacks. Um, and they, I'm actually, I think I'm, I'm doing more to save one of the perps' lives, my enemy. Every time I go and I come back right here, there's this heavy set woman. She comes down the steps and she's she's been walking all over, but she's one of the perps. But oh, uh, I'm think I'm doing her a favor. Every time I go, so if I go again, then she'll have to come out and do a street theater. So, and she's she's real heavy, about two, maybe three. I think she's three, short. So I think the more I go, the more she'll have to come out. I mean, I don't. I really don't want recognition. I joke and say I deserve recognition because a lot of these perps, they doing things. They have to do what I do, and a lot of the things it's helping them, even if they're not doing it honestly. They're getting help from. You know, the higher-ups with the police uh, on their jobs. They got a free apartment. You know, stuff like that. But also, sometimes I get a rare benefit treat that they really don't like. I guess because I'm a man, they have to send women, you know, to try to make it look like um, um, selfish or I don't care about children. You know, they send the single moms. Um and so also I get into the homeless people they um today they happened before also one she jumped out the car and it is like damn and I knew what she was there for because when I got through she finished like four people ahead of me she was just pulling off just so you know the street theater and one one uh incident again I, like I said I'm, I'm like thank you because she's walking in front of me and she was ass everywhere. But anyway, one time uh, their street theater was trying to make me feel like I'm, I'm a little kid because I started buying cereal again just before I had my kidney problems. And I found out you can't have eat brand cereal if you have kidney problems. So anyway, it was an elderly white woman and a young black woman, Redbone. And she, I guess, single mother. She probably didn't have a boyfriend, but she was good looking. But anyway, so the white woman did. They strike up, you know, street theater, loud conversation. She, oh, you're such a good little boy. You're eating your cereal, you know, right in earshot. As soon as I get there, but before I could even say anything, what comes out my mouth is, damn, she got a fat ass, and she heard me, the girl. And that's all I saw, and she instantly got embarrassed, like she forgot she had on yoga pants. And she, She's black. She got a big ass, and she she walked off. So I like, I think I ruined their street theater. The whole thing. They just got out of uh, character. That was hilarious. But I'm running out of space. I'll tell y'all some more later. Peace out.